Well, conference media day is ending today in New Orleans. The last team to appear in front of the media is a team that hopes to finish first in the Sun Belt. The South Alabama Jaguars hoping to make history this season. The first step win the Western Division Conference. Does Kane Womack have the talent to make a run in 22? Simone Eli has more on USA's second year head coach. Second and final day of Sunbelt Football Media Day is just wrapping up here in New Orleans. The West Division teams taking center stage, including South Alabama. And Jags head coach Kane Womack no longer a new face at this event as he enters his second season leading the South program. In some ways, the, the role of a head coach in year one does change in year two simply because you have constantly cast vision for what the program needs to look like. Now it's about maintaining that vision, but also the accountability of it uh, day in and day out and the fine details that it takes to accomplish that vision. South Alabama wideout Jalen Wayne and defensive back Daryl Luter made the trip to media days. Wayne says he's ready to pick up where Jalen Tolbert left off in leading the receiver room. Um, as far as the expectation, it's still the same as last year. I just want to get us a ring real bad. And I was already familiar before he got here, but he, he, he just makes everything feel comfortable. And then all of us just working together and showing this LEO mentality is just getting us way better real fast. LEO stands for love each other. The Jags motto embraced by everybody from the coaching staff to players. Well, I mean, it just shows you how much he cares about, you know, the program and about the players himself, you know. Like he said, you know, it's not a, it's not a family, it's a business, but we should operate as a family. So, you know, that's the biggest thing. And, uh, you know, Coach Kane, he's a really good guy. You know, he's all about, you know, bonding with uh, each, uh, each and every one of us. South Alabama opens the season on September 3rd against Nichols State. In New Orleans at Sunbelt Football Media Days, Simone Eli, send it back to you.